Hello, welcome to the Palm Street Seller Hub shipping tutorial. Today I will be talking about how to do shipping on the Seller Hub after an order has already been placed. Um, we do have shipping available on the app as well, which is going to have a lot of similar features to this, but today specifically we are talking about just the Seller Hub, which is found on the desktop. When you automatically enter into the Seller Hub, you're going to be taken into the My Orders tab. So this tab right here is going to show you all the different orders that you have available. If you're interested in learning about all the different tabs here and the different features found on the Seller Hub, be sure to check out our video specifically going over all the different features about the Seller Hub. When you're looking for specific orders on the Seller Hub, so you come to this page, you're looking at the orders, you can hit this arrow on the left hand side and then you can see every single thing that a person bought from your live show. And this is also going to separate based on the address. So whenever you could try to print the packing slip or anything like that, or if you're going to print it and it's telling you that there's two different things there, make sure to double check the address because there's a good chance there's more than one address available. To print the packing slip for this order, we're going to do this order specifically from Palm Street Support. You're going to click the three dots to the right hand side, click them, and then select print packing label. It's going to take a few seconds to load, and then you're going to be on this screen where you're going to see all the different items that the person has ordered, where the address is, and then the total amount that was paid for that order. You can then save this page directly to your computer and then print it however you normally print your packing labels. Now that we're back on this page, by clicking the three dots to the right hand side, you can also purchase a shipping label through the Seller Hub. So we'll click the three dots and then we're going to go to buy shipping label. Here you can input the package, wait, the delivery service you want, and then you're going to be able to purchase the label. So we're going to go through a quick example on how to do this. For this specific order, we're going to say the weight is one pound and it's a box with eight by eight by eight inches. So after I put all that information in, the delivery services will pop up and then I can sort through them to see which one works best for what I am shipping and the customer and what they want. Once I click which one I want, I can go ahead and purchase label and then that'll be able to be printed however you like to print your labels. Once you purchase a label, the tracking number will also automatically be placed on the order for the buyer to be looking at. So whenever the you purchase a label, the buyer is going to be notified that the tracking number has been made and then whenever you put this in with USPS or whatever shipping company you use, the buyer will be able to track that and it'll help with your payouts a little bit quicker as well. So the cost of the label is taken from your balance, so make sure that whenever you do decide to purchase a label through Palm Street Seller Hub that you have a little bit of funds left over after your previous live show or purse, that way you do have funds available to print. Okay, let's say the buyer had a super big order and all the items that they ordered don't fit into the same box. So what you can do is you can check mark the specific items in that box. And then once you have those specific items check marked, you can go ahead and you can print a packing slip for just those items. That way the buyer only has a packing slip for what's in the box. They're not worried about not having all the items that they're expecting. And then you can also add a tracking number or buy shipping label for just those three items. That way you don't have to worry about going through a different source to buy a different shipping label for that second box. Okay. What about if you want to use your own contact to purchase the shipping labels? Our system does allow for that. So what you would need to do is you would either need to select the items that are in that box, the items that are in that box and add a tracking number or you can hit three dots on the right hand side again and add a tracking number and that'll add the tracking number to the entire order. And then you can also export the order if you need to and if that makes it easier for you to be purchasing the shipping label as well. And a common question I actually get asked a lot about shipping items is just how to pack orders in general. Unfortunately, that is too complicated of a question to be answering during this video, just because everybody has different things that they're shipping. Um, so the shipping how to pack is going to change versus what the size is, what the weight is, and what the item is. Is it a plant? Is it fragile? Is it just a notebook? Like, what is this item? So my best answer for everyone who was asking that question is go on YouTube or search online um, how to pack or pack with me videos and then make sure you're specifying the specific item you have. See how different other 
sellers and small businesses are packing that item and see what you can take away from that to use with your own business. And then also try some trial orders that you don't necessarily ship out, but try packing them and seeing exactly how they are packed and do a little bit of a test. See how you need to throw the box around um, in case it gets thrown around with the shipping company. Put some weights on it just in case it gets set under other boxes. Do some different tests with your practice order just to see how well your order and how you packed it holds up under all the different conditions that the shipping company could give it. So that way it has the best chance of arriving to the buyer without issue. And then once you have looked at all the videos, figured out how best to do your orders, you'll be ready to pack on your own. So good luck. So thank you for joining me on this little tutorial video. I hope everyone found it helpful. And then if you have any more specific questions on how to ship via the Seller Hub, go ahead and reach out to support in the Palm Street app, and they'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. All right, bye.